Now look down to the slides at what the younger men are supposed to look like. That's in verse 6. And I'll read it to you. Likewise, exhort the young men to be sober-minded and all things showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. Every young man should want to be a pattern. In doctrine, showing integrity, reverence, incorruptibility, sound speech that can't be condemned, that one who is an opponent may be ashamed, having nothing evil to say of you. Now, there are seven qualities you can pull out of those three verses. Look on the right side of that, of that card. By the way, the right side is a card that is on our website, and you can put the overlay right now. Is there a button there? Uh, it, that our website is Discover the Book, and it, it actually has this card, and you can see under Resources uh, a PDF you can print off, and you can stick this card that has all four of these panels in it in your purse or your wallet or stick them in your Bible. But, but back to this, here's what Titus younger men are to be. Titus 2 younger men are, top of the card there on the right, sober-minded, living restrained in a lust-filled world. Number two, showing yourself to be a pattern, following Christ in a Christless world. Number three, in doctrine showing integrity, believing right so I behave right. Number four, reverence, staying focused on God in a world of distractions. Look up for a second. Wow. That is the most transformational of all these points for younger men. Staying focused on God in a world of distractions. Uh, I, I, my son, I'll never forget when he went to visit a Christian school on college uh, visit week. He went to one of the premier Christian schools that at that time was charging 30 some thousand dollars to go there. And he said he stayed in the dorm with all the students and, and the room he had had two other guys in it. And he says he got there so excited to go to classes and meet the faculty and go to chapel. And he said those guys stayed up until 4 a.m. playing video games, went to sleep at 5, slept through their classes, and didn't go to chapel. Now look back at that card. Is that the kind of person to marry that can't stay focused on God because they're distracted by the world? No. Reverence is, is a God-given discipline of focusing on God. The next one, incorruptibility, keeping uncorroded in a decaying world. Everybody's resting with sin and lust and, and the evils of this world. And a godly young man keeps an uncorroded life. That means uh, that, that he won't let things into his life that are going to eat him from the inside out. And he repents and he says no to them. And finally, he has sound speech speaking God's word in a godless world.